Hi everyone and welcome to Understanding Risk. I'm Alana Simpson at the World Bank and I'm very pleased to be joined here by Ian Stewart who is an expert in risk communication at the Understanding Risk. So my first question for you mm. is, are volcanoes the forgotten hazard and should we communicate more about volcanic risk? So are volcanoes the forgotten hazards? Well, I, I, you know, for me they're not because as a geologist I study volcanoes and earthquakes and things all the time. And my interest originally was in the kind of technical aspects, the scientific aspects of that. But increasingly there's that realisation that that only takes us so far. You know, if we really want to get people prepared for disasters, we have to reach out and understand their concerns, how they understand our science, and that's what I'm interested in doing. And so, I mean, I, I'm a scientist, I like numbers, I like metrics, I like things like that, but I know that people I talk to want a story. Can you tell, give me an example of where a story convinced somebody? where numbers didn't? I, I think there are plenty of examples where the numbers don't convince. The harder one, I think, is the stories because it's not the way, it's not the way we pitch the science. The science gets pitched in the academic context too much. But stories are absolutely key. And I, and I think when you go and you look at the examples when disaster or preparedness has failed, it's because there's been no in, in, enduring, compelling narrative beneath it. Excellent. And so what are you hoping to get out of this conference here in Mexico City? So I'm, I'm an academic and I live in the academic world, so it's kind of nice to come here into the, the practitioner world. The, I kind of call it the real world, I don't know if it is, it's just another world, but to try to understand those people are dealing with these things in a day-to-day -day, yeah, process and, and trying to see what's really important in the real world, people's real world lives that we can bring from the academic context into there.